Howdy folks, Creepy Kentucky in here with you for a rare Dead Pit video. Uh, haven't done an official like recorded video um, probably since the uh, Halloween box set unboxing which we ended up getting completely for free uh, which is cool. But anyway, I hope everybody had a happy Halloween and we're on a week away from Thanksgiving and I got a box so I thought I would do another unboxing. I already kind of unboxed the top of it but I haven't really looked at, at what's inside and for anybody that stayed on Facebook today you probably know what it is so anyway I, yes I did get one um, this is from Kickstarter and Red Rover books um, yeah they really pack, it looked like they packed this book well and of course um, what what this is I'm sure you guys hopefully you, you'll know because the description's right up there it's the never sleep again um, book big coffee table book supposedly so I got it out here look at this greatly packaged um, so let's get to uh, unbubbling this thing a little bit of a shadow in this room, but then let's have this. Let's Definitely killing us with bubble wrap. That's a good thing when it comes to books, and especially the hardback books can get bent up and dented. And it's always good to get those protected well. And it looks like they invested in quite a bit of bubble wrap with this thing. And yeah, and even after the bubble wrap, we have some lovely craft paper. There's the book. That's not the cover. That's just more packaging, which is cool. Again, um, fifty dollars for this book. It's the only way you could get the book. Um, and I kind of collect the horror book, like the movie books and stuff. Um. The Friday the 13th, uh, Crystal Lake Memories book is the one that really, like, that's just the end all be all of like horror movie books. So, I definitely wanted to get this one, wanted to show the support. I think Tommy Hudson is the, uh, the guy that was working on this. So, looks like it's in uh, pristine condition. It survived. Uh, oh, this is beautiful. You can look at the, there it is, Never Sleep Again with the uh, red foil, if you can see that, red foil dust jacket there, and yeah, um, you can see here too, let me take this dust jacket off so I don't mess it up anymore, but uh, take that off there so I can show you guys I don't want to bend it or anything but yeah if, if you look at the actual book here it's got the, the red foil too so <clears throat> open the book up and you can see my number right there what is it 653 out of 750 and this is one of those things that yeah I probably like they had options where you could get like multiple copies I probably could have got a couple copies and just sold them for like un, un like unreal prices on there but um I didn't didn't do it but yeah I'm just uh kind of flipping through the book and wow I mean this is the Elm Street version of of Crystal Lake Memories it looks like and of course the only thing about this book is it is for just the first movie not the sequels or anything so there you go you can see some of the some of the cool pages from the book and all that. Looks like he did a great job with this. This is going to be fun little reading. Um, and it's cool. Like This is the first Kickstarter thing that I've ever really backed or anything. Um, just because I'm really into the horror books and I wanted to see this made. And I think they could have gotten regular distribution for this. Which is kind of strange. The camera um, cut off there, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys some of the stuff in the book. So, if, 
I'll just show the cover, which Nathan Thomas Milner did that cover, which I don't think I mentioned before. Um, you open the book up, of course, there's a shot of my foot. Um, forward by Wes Craven. Just like I said, if you have the Crystal Lake Memories book, you will see that it's similar, very similar to that format. It's all full color glossy images in a hardback book. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably get flagged for that video, this video now, but whatever. So yeah, just wanted to quickly show you guys the setup of the book and some of the stuff in it. A young picture of uh, John Saxon there. So yeah, again, this is only on the first movie in the Elm Street uh, series. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, of course, I haven't read it or anything, but, um, it's going to be a cool one. It's going to be a good one. It's going to look right, uh, going to go right good with the, uh, Friday the 13th, uh, Crystal Lake Memories book, side by side. So, anyway, there's not, again, unless you pre order this with a Kickstarter, there's no, no other way to get it. Um, and it's limited to 750 copies. And again, to show you guys once more I am 6 33 I thought I said 53 I think it's 33 out of 750 copies of the premiere release now will this get another release it could you know that's the way things go sometimes but anyway there it is never sleep again the Elm Street Legacy